How you doing guys, it is Scanner Berkeley here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Volt Warframe. Currently available as an option in the starter Warframes, this can be a very good option to pick. Outside of being a starting choice, it is only available through the Tenno Research Labs as of update 14 or for 75 Platinum in the marketplace. While the Volt is not the kind of Warframe you would end up bringing on a T4 run, it is most certainly suitable for all manner of missions and difficulties. It provides great mob control using its powers to deliver heavy damage to large groups of enemies and that makes it very very effective versus the infested. It has electricity based attacks that are adept at depleting the shields of the corpus and can deliver great damage to the grenier as well. Its strong mix of damage, speed and adaptability make it great for just about any situation. So let's take a look at its powers. Up first is Shock with an energy cost of 25. The shock ability is a projectile based attack that inflicts heavy damage on a singular target with 50% of that damage chaining to close targets. It does 75, 100, 125 or 200 damage depending on the card's rank and chains to 3, 4, 5 or 6 enemies, once again rank dependent. The damage inflicted is affected by power strength mods such as intensify or blind rage. The radius of, of the possible chain effect is 7, 10, 12 or 15 meters, once again dependent on the mod's rank and this radius is affected by power range mods such as stretch or overextended. The shock ability also has a 100% chance to briefly stun enemies, making it extremely useful even against high level foes. Shock can also be used to hit enemies behind cover and it can take out those pesky grenades with troop with shields as well. Up next is speed. Speed has an energy cost of 25. The speed ability increases both the movement speed and attack speed of you and surrounding allies. The increase will be for 10, 15, 25 or 50% and it will last for 5, 6, 8 or 10 seconds all dependent on the rank of the mod. The percentage increase is affected by power strength mods and the duration is affected by power duration mods such as constitution and continuity. The radius of effect is 15, 20, 22 or 25 meters rank dependent and that is affected by power range mods. Up next is electric shield with an energy cost of 50. Electric shield will create a barrier between you and the enemy in the direction that you are facing and it will absorb all incoming enemy fire. It will also grant an additional 50% damage to friendly fire shot through the shield in the form of electric damage and those shots will receive a 2 times crit damage buff as well. The shield lasts for 10, 15, 20 or 25 seconds depending on the rank of the card and the duration is affected by power duration mods. For higher level runs where the electric shield becomes one of the core reasons to run a Volt Warframe, it is highly recommended to have a high ranked power duration mod as part of your setup. The shield can also have various effects on friendly weapons that are shot through it. These are subject to change though and many of them can be bugged from various updates, changes and hotfixes. I hope to be able to do a full testing on different weapons and the effects they have as solid information can be hard to find and make a video dedicated to this at a later date. Volt's last power is Overload with an energy cost of 100. Overload is a very complex ability that is very reliant on the circumstances of its casting. The initial cast creates a small area of effect that does 150, 175, 200 or 200 damage, 225 damage depending on the rank. The cast time is roughly 1 second long and you are vulnerable to damage and drains during this second but you are immune to knockdowns and stuns. The burst has a 100% chance to stun and 50% of the initial damage will chain to surrounding enemies. Both these damage events are affected by power strength mods. After the, after the initial burst, any electronic device in the area will overload, delivering 250 damage per shock. Each shock once again has a 100% chance to stun and these are unaffected by power strength mods. The devices they'll pulse rapidly until all charges are used against any enemies within range. Once all these charges dissipate, the final pulses of the power are released, once again doing 150, 175, 200 or 225 damage, but this time as damage per second over 3 to 4 seconds depending on rank, and it'll affect all enemies within 12, 15, 18 or 20 meters. The damage inflicted and the radius are affected by power mods, 
and once again each pulse has a 100% chance to stun. When used in the right circumstances, overload can inflict a massive amount of damage, and a guaranteed status change for each portion of the attack means that even a mob of very high level enemies can effectively be locked down while it's being damaged, allowing your fellow Tenno to easily pour more damage into the fight. Using overload in the right place at the right time can easily clear what would have been a room full of dangerous foes. Be careful to maximize the damage though. Using overload twice in the same area will remove the second damage chain as all the electronics in that area will have already been considered destroyed and the second casting will not result in maximum damage. So that's the vault's powers. Let's look at how I personally like to use it. As we've already covered, Volt is very effective against all enemy types within the game, but can excel at controlling and destroying aggressive infected mobs and taking out machinery and robotics enemies due to the electrical nature of its powers. The only real downside to Volt is that its powers take a nerf against alloy plating, which is a staple defense of many of the bosses in the game. The good news here is that many of them will also be reliant on other components as part of their defense, which are more easily damaged by Volt's attacks. And running a strong suitable primary can make a very important part of taking down any high level target. My personal preference when running Volt is to dash into groups of enemies using the speed ability and then nuke them with overload, provide good support to my teammates with the electrical shield and use the shock ability to provide solid wave clear if we were overrun by a heavy mob. I like to stack mods that improve my shields, health and shield recharge on all my frames because I like to be in the thick of the fighting. I currently run an armor mod on my vault just for that extra tank, however as soon as I find a duration mod I'll switch that out for sure. Vault has great synergy with many of the other warframes and paying close attention to what your squad mates are doing can lead to great success. If there is a trinity in your party you can really push the glass cannon nature of vault and rely on her healing to keep you in the fight. If a Necros or Vauban has locked down a large group of enemies with their powers, you can use that as the perfect time to overload, dealing massive damage. Pay close attention to what your teammates do and seek to maximize your own damage potential. All in all, Volt is an adaptable Warframe that can run an aggressive, high risk, high reward strategy or a more slow paced support role using the electric shield and speed to stop your teammates taking so much damage and very very quickly reposition. It's a good starting point for any player as you find out exactly how you like to play Warframe. How are you doing guys? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, there's a link on the screen right now to a previous Warframe video which contains all the details that you'll need to know to get your own Kubro in game. Um, click on that to go and watch the video if you so desire. Um, this particular video will be part of an ongoing series that will eventually take a look at each and every Warframe. So right now, while it's in its infancy, if you can think of anything you'd like to see added to the videos to make them more comprehensive or maybe better for you as a player, just let me know and I'll take it all on board. So I uh, hope you have a good one guys. Like the video only if you actually like the video. And all the best.